everybody. Good morning and welcome back. Um, we are talking about my favorite things this month and some of them may be a little unexpected. I don't know. We'll see. If you know me, they're probably not <laughs> unexpected at all. But for those of you I have yet to meet, um, it may be a little unexpected. I don't know. So this morning, the favorite thing I'm going to talk about is books. And I know, like, I, I'm a huge bibliophile. I love to read. I have since I was little. But when the kids came along, I kind of got out of the habit. Now that they're a little older, uh, my book collection is exploding again, which is fantastic. So I'm going to share with you just some of my favorite books. Um, yes, several of them are reference books, but that's okay because I love to learn and I hope you do too. Learning is awesome. So the first books I'm going to highlight da, 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 are my desk reference, which is humongous, and my pocket reference, which is not as humongous, but they are both fabulous, fabulous books. Um, they are chock full of information. In fact, a lot of the videos I do, a lot of the information comes out of these precious books because they just contain so much information. Um, I have not read these yet, but they are on my to read list and I'm very much looking forward to them. This one is about Ningxia, the Ningxia wolfberry, and this one is about einkorn, which is an ancient grain, which is very different from today's modern wheat. Um, I do believe modern wheat has 24, 24 chromosomes, something like that. Whereas einkorn only has 14. It's a lot, lot easier to digest. In fact, um, a lot of people find if they have gluten sensitivities that they can handle einkorn, whereas their body can't handle normal wheat. So uh, just interesting. I would love to read more about that. It is on my to read list. I haven't gotten there yet. Uh, this one is about the raindrop. I'm sure y'all have heard me talk about the raindrop before. Um, this was the original book written by uh, Gary Young when he came up with the procedure for doing a raindrop, which is pretty cool. All right, Lucy. I love Lucy. Lucy is all about some hormones, and y'all know how much I've been dealing with hormones. So Lucy's very helpful. Um... All right, this, I, you can tell I've used this one a lot. Look at all these tabs. This is my oils plus scripture. So um, obviously the Bible is very important to me. God is very important to me. And so I love digging into what his word has to say about different oils and different plants. Um, and this is one of the resources that helps me do that. Uh, compensation plan, always good to know, especially if you're interested in how to get paid from Young Living, how to uh, earn thank you checks. Super helpful. Um, this one is not an oil book. It's called Feelings Buried Alive. This is super helpful for dealing with emotional junk. And y'all, we all have emotional junk, let me tell you. This one is about essential oils and feelings, and it's also amazing for dealing with emotional junk. And you can tell I use this one a lot. Um, it stays marked up and on my shelf. Um, I don't loan that one out very much. I will look stuff up for people in it, no problem. But I don't loan it out very much because I use it all the time. And then this is just really cool. This is a book written by Mary Young about her husband, Gary, and just kind of his whole journey about, you know, what happened to get him into essential oils, um, you know, how he pioneered um, a lot of what we consider the essential oil industry today, um, and just his, his challenges and whatnot. It's fascinating stuff. Um, Gary Young actually got into essential oils because the man was paralyzed and he was told he would never walk again and he was not taking that for an answer so he continued to look into all kinds of healings that and he i don't know if he stumbled across uh essential oils but anyway that was how it started and it's an amazing story 
lots of cool stuff. But lest you think I'm only into oily books, because I'm not, um, I've got, got a whole stack here that I'm going to start sharing with you. So this is one I am currently reading. It's called The Contagion Myth. Y'all, this is like paradigm shifting as um, looking at illnesses, um, especially the, the big COVID thing has been going on for a year now if not a little over at this point. Um, and just the the way the authors tackle looking at this is phenomenal. It I have learned so much. And it's, as a consequence, I'm changing some of the things my family does. Like um, we're looking at filtering our water better, uh, getting rid of things like chlorine and fluoride. <laughs> Um, I'm not getting into a fluoride debate, y'all. I don't want it in my water. If you want it in yours, fine. Um, but I don't want it in mine. So <clears throat> something I'm looking at, uh, something I'm looking at is more fermented foods, raw milk, just uh, all kinds of things. Not using glyphosate anymore. Um, I've already told my husband, I'm like, mm, done. Because the things it does in our body are just atrocious. Um, but anyway, that is some things I have learned from this book. Uh, this one was also huge. Um, and this really is helping or has helped me look at what we eat um, and the things that are hidden in our prepackaged foods. Um, and even the, the things that are hidden in our produce because of how it is farmed. It just, uh, anyway. Now, I've got a whole list of books that are on my to-read list. I just went through a book buying frenzy. I have not had a chance to read all these yet. But I have heard a lot of the authors speak, and they sound fascinating. So this one's called Plague of Corruption. So uh, looking forward to reading that one. You can fix your brain. That looks fascinating. I just looked through the table of contents. Y'all, a lot of it has to do with food and nutrition. Imagine that. Um, so yeah, that looks really, really interesting. I'm currently reading um, Charlotte Mason. So I'm in a Charlotte Mason book club, which is awesome. She's got some really cool things about uh, just parenting in general. Um, not just homeschooling or schooling children, but just parenting in general. Really great advice. Very biblical. Um, I've really been enjoying going through these. It's it's something you have to, to read a little bit of and digest. So it's not like a quick read, but it is very meaty. All right, these next couple of books are Sally Clarkson's. Um, I have read Own Your Life. It is amazing. In fact, uh, if you know me, you know I don't believe in dog-earing pages or highlighting. I have highlighted the heck out of this book. It's so good. Let me turn it so you can actually see it. Okay, and then The Ministry of Motherhood. I'm still making my way through. I haven't gone gotten very far yet but I'm still working on it because you know what being a mom is hard and there are days I could use some help um, in fact that's why I've got these next two books that I am looking forward to reading uh, no longer little so my littles are getting they're not there yet but they're getting there my kids are six so um yeah they're they're fig heading toward those tween years so i am looking forward to having a little help getting through there because yeah we all could use a little help and then a friend recommended this one to me it's called triggers and it's talking about dealing with anger especially anger um with and around our children so um i don't know if you deal with anger i do um and i come from a family that deals with anger so i'm looking forward to reading this one and seeing what it has to say. No, no. Okay, so um, I've highlighted uh, oily books. I've highlighted some nutrition books. I've highlighted some parenting books. Last thing I wanna highlight, and some of the ones that are most special to me are spiritual books, because um, we are spiritual beings. And I know um, that my faith is incredibly important to me. It colors everything I do. The Bible is my number one book. Um, I'm not going to show you my copy of the Bible. They're everywhere. But next to that, there are other books that have been written about the Bible, that have been written by God's people, and that are minister. 
So uh, this next series I'm going to flash up on the screen because I just started reading it and it's phenomenal it is by Dr. Lake, Dr. Michael Lake. <clears throat> it's a set of three. Uh, the Shinar Directive I have read, which is amazing. A little scary um, because it's kind of looking at what the enemy is doing. The Sharif Imperative I have just started. And it's talking about what God is doing through the remnant. And then the Kingdom Priesthood is the newest one. I haven't had a chance to crack that open yet because I'm actually reading these in order. But... Um, Dr. Michael Lake is a fascinating guy. I love the way his brain works. So uh, it's it's been really, really fun reading his books. And of course, I mean, there are tons of spiritual books out there. Um, it just kind of depends what is calling to you. But anyway, so that was kind of some of the things I wanted to share with you guys this morning because books are one of my favorite things and I am super excited to be back into my reading. Um, it's been it's been many years since I've done more than read, you know, storybooks. So I'm very excited. I went a little crazy here lately. Um, I got to see this awesome uh, docu-series here lately um, from a company called VR and I was so impressed by so many of the speakers that I went and bought their books because I wanted to hear more and learn more. And that's what a lot of these are. Um, in fact, I have more coming, so I'm going to be quite busy reading for a while, which is great. I love the fact that my kids are old enough that I can take that time to really dive in deeper, learn more. Um, you know, we never stop learning, or at least we shouldn't because there's always more to know and the more we know the better equipped we are to make good decisions so you know don't stop reading don't stop researching don't stop learning more you can keep moving forward no matter where you are all right guys <clears throat> thank you so much for joining me this morning i'm looking forward to seeing you uh next time until then happy reading hmm.